All right, guys, welcome here to Sort of Me. Brad and I, this is Brad's first landing here. One second. One single kilo, continue texting only for the Teddy. Sort of Me, Teddy, 5 POV, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo. Anyways, we're just jumping over the hill, about seven minute flight over to Teddy. And it's, uh, yeah, it rained out here, obviously, in the evening, because it had the last night. It just cleared out a couple of hours ago. It was raining at probably 6 in the morning today. Very slippery. Um, so we're expecting to be very slippery over in Teddy as well. It's a little bit longer, but um, it's a little bit more kind of undulating and uh, easier to slide off into the jungle. So anyways, seven minutes over there. Yep. I'll go ahead and taxi to the end just so, because it's a very tight turnaround and there's like a river at the end that we don't want to accidentally slide off if you add too much power. So I'm going to show you the method that I use to turn around down there. And it's still pretty uncomfortable sometimes. Oh, like I said earlier, I get going, the brake and let off. Sometimes even go into like kind of beta. And that way it's not just pulling you as you're s slipping in the mud. We're trying to stay as close as we can to the middle of the runway because that's going to be the firmest. All stations, sort of me, November Tango Kilo, taxiing, sort of me, Teddy. You kind of feel it kind of grabbing all over the place. Yeah. That's just, it's not sinking. It's, if you look at the tires, they're just like sucking up water. So it's almost like they're just sitting in water. So we're going to feel that on takeoff a bit where it's kind of like, wow, what is that weird feeling that's awkward? If I'm in that seat, I'll typically turn to the, to the right so that I can see where the edge is. And I'm also not turning towards the eight foot drop off to the river. Okay. But it sure is beautiful out here, isn't it? Sure is. Just wanna get back over to center line as soon as we can. We have the flight controls now. The flight controls. So on this one, where the parking bay is, that's a really good safe aboard point, and we'll use that. They've got a lot of cones out, which is really nice. Ari Teddy has nothing. Um, we've got one, two, three, four cones up there. That's the beginning of, looking on the right side, that's the beginning of the parking bay. So I would pick, I would want, what are we going to be rotating at today? Gave our weights in yet? 6,400 pounds, so um, 60, 70, something like that. So we want 60 knots, so I want to have probably, we're not that heavy, but we're also not that light. I'm going to want like a 40 to 45 knots. I'm guessing it's probably going to be 45 knots by that cone right there, I'm guessing. By the fourth one? By the fourth one on the right. So at the beginning of the parking bay where the windsock is, you'll be like, oh, that hill's coming up. But then you realize, wow, we're actually climbing all right. We could probably go off to the left of it because it drops down even more. You can't see from here, or we can go off to the right. So as you're climbing, you can make the decision what you'd like to do, what feels most comfortable to you. We're going to the left, though, eventually going over to Iteddy. As you take off, you'll see, oh, there's actually kind of a gap off here. So we could do that. And then are we going to follow this valley until we That's get right. All this green area, and then we're just going to jump back over, do a loop around, and then enter into a left downwind. What altitude are we climbing to? Uh, whatever we need to, probably 2,000 feet at most. It's not really, I mean, it's just kind of whatever we're going to do just to scrape all the trees. Okay. So, okay. I think because it's so wet out and this one was so slippery, I think I'm going to, you could do the approach there, but I'm going to do landing it because just because you've only done two landings at these yeah, places. No, not fair. that the landing is going to be, it's just the touchdown and, and getting the feel for reverse and if you start slipping what you need to do just because we haven't done that many so until we get like some nice dry landings to where you kind of feel comfortable landing at these and as the trees are going by and stuff uh, but you'll do the approach and then i'll just take over short final just so that i have a little bit more control over because it's hard for me to like tell you to do something but then not do it like immediately you know sure. and just because it is slippery and that like i was saying it gets kind of skinny halfway down and we don't want to go into the little swamp so yeah. all right you're good to go that's fair. All right. All right, 1540 for 1590, rotating 60 knots. 1540 for 1590, 90, rotating 60 knots. And how is, how's that for starters? Yep, that's really good right there. All right, 1540 for 1590, engine instruments are in the green. We'll maintain center line here. 
Air speed's alive. A little bit more. It will continue. There's 60 knots, we're rotating, and then low over. And then get your speed up to 73, and then get out onto here. Right, now you can see that's where we want to go, off to the left. If you want, we can throw on terrain here if you'd like, but see what I mean? Like, it doesn't give you, yeah. like, for me, like, okay, that there's nice that, detail. but maybe I guess I'm just so used to seeing, I want to see where the green is instead of just where I can go, not what I can't do right this second, you know? Yeah. But we're going to go right down this little valley here, I think. Let's see, straight ahead. Yeah, we don't really want to go over there. I think we'll be able to just jump right over that ridge right there and then hop over to the left into a teddy. I'll do your call because it's so quick. Thank you. Or is the 6598 November Tango Kilo departure? November Tango Kilo was departed. November Tango Kilo departed. So to me for a teddy. Departed time 42, tracking 055 on climb below 5000. A teddy 49er. November Tango Kilo. Nice one, zero, zero, eight, no traffic. Zero, zero, eight, no traffic, no vermiculo. We're not going to go any higher than this, probably, unless we absolutely have to. We're just going to try to wiggle way through the easiest way that we can. It looks like that big saddle in front of us. Over here. Um, up here, probably. You might have to go a tiny bit, but we're just going to, yeah, we'll cut through that one. And then we got, over here? yeah, okay. the one off to your left. We'll go over that way. And it's runway one, two, and three, zero. It's just a one-way airstrip, runway three, zero. We'll do a left-hand pattern. You can land with up to nine knots of tailwind with a full up. I doubt there's gonna be much wind, but the wind was coming this way, kind of pushing all the clouds, so we might have a couple knots of tailwind. It's at 200 feet, so I'll go ahead and just flip this down for you now, just because of your workload. We'll do 1,200 feet. All stations, see Teddy. November Tango Kilo, six miles to the west, southwest, 2,000. Will be circuit 49 e Teddy. Um, and like I said, we already talked about. It, it's just that it's going to be really slippery. Or sl uh, slippery. It's it's low grass. And then also, let's go ahead and slow on down. Like, let's get our prop forward. Let's get our flaps down. And then rather than just kind of like, okay, we're going to come in here. We've got 100%. We can get out of here if we need to. Looks like we're going to clear these next two ridges just fine. If we continue straight the right of that little taller one directly in front of us. 500. And I'm going to go ahead and OBS this for you. Runway 30. And we'll throw a heading bug up for perpendicular uh, the opposite way. It's directly on the other side of these hills right over here. Quick little flight. All stations will be Teddy. November taking Kilo will be flying overhead and joining into a left down one three zero Teddy. Morris B65, Nanner 8, November Tango Kilo, in the circuit, Teddy, report after landing. November Tango Kilo. All right, I have flight controls for a second. I'll flight show control. you how we're going to enter in, and that way you can just have a better chance to look at it, because this is the first time you've been here. 500. And, um, and then I'll let you fly. Once we get over top, I'll let you fly and just point out your key positions. And like I said, short final, then I'll just take over just for the touchdown. All right, so we're going to go on down to 1,200 feet. Okay, so you see, you can't even see it right now. Like, you can barely see the end of it coming up to the river. I was just out here like two days ago, and the river already looks like way higher. So it definitely had some rain. Not like way higher, but it's definitely higher than it was the other day because there was a lot more rocks showing. There it is. It's nice and sunny, looking great out to where we're going to. Winds up here at four knots. Might have a little bit of a tailwind for landing. I'm looking at how dark it is. You can see halfway down where those two big green patches come together. That's where it's soft on both sides. Oh, whoops, I get it back up to my altitude. And there's not many cones to really look for. So as I was saying earlier, we've got trees at the end of the runway. They're about 20 feet, and we're just gonna have to kind of drop in over top of those. So that's what it looks like. You have flight controls. We're going to fly over here to the edge of the hill, so just keep our turn in. We'll stay at 1,200 feet. 
We're just gonna go perpendicular first, straight over to those hills, and then just parallel along those hills at right. uh, 1,200 feet. Hey, can you uh, brief the uh, board? Uh, power up, 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73, we'll go straight ahead up the valley and then turn around once we're up and out of the valley. Short final, probably uh, two to 300 feet AGL. All right, we're gonna go right when that little hill comes 500. down. We're gonna go right to the edge of that, all right? That's gonna basically parallel us along, but we're not very far, I guess we're about a mile, but. We're going to get flaps 20. Yes, please. And then we'll drop down to 900 feet by the time we turn base at around 1.6 miles. Great. If you start around 400 feet per minute on descent here, that's going to get you there pretty well. And then just don't shortchange yourself space between your base. Okay. This edge. We want 700 turning final. Flaps and turn final. And then checklist is complete. Okay, slow down to 70. Five hundred. Now it's tailwind. Four hundred feet per minute on the descent, so we're a tiny bit flat. Air flight controls? Air flight controls. Air flight control. get to like a nice uh, walking pace, then we'll go low idle. Okay. And we'll get our flaps back up. All right, I'll text you to the end so you can see just how we're gonna turn around and stuff. And the next time we come in here, you can you can do all this fun stuff. You had a ton of rudder motion on that. Yes. That was a lot. Yeah. So right there, I wish I could explain it a little bit more, but I had probably 80% right brake and 20% left brake. Okay. Um, depending on what direction the nose was going on. Just depending, sure. yeah. I would say throughout the whole thing, probably 80% right brake, 20% left, because as we're in full reverse, it's going to want to pull you to the left anyways. Okay. And then, yeah, it's like tons of this rudder movement just to, like, stay on what you need to. So that's why I say, like, do whatever you need to do. And as you get more comfortable with what needs to be done, you'll feel it. But right now, you just don't have the muscle memory on how far you're going to have yeah. to push something or pull something, you know? This here can be very slippery, so, I mean, you can come in this fast and be sliding as you hit your brakes, so... We don't want to, like, short ourselves of runway, but we can always straighten the nose wheel once we turn around. Uh, I'm just, like, just kind of, like, hitting my brake as we're going, turning slowly. Come on. You know, you want to make it. And then I'm just going to line up. I don't really care about my nose wheel. We'll straighten it up in a minute. I'm a little bit off to the left, it looks like, so. What I do actually is actually I'll straighten it up now so that we don't have to pull the airplane. That's it. You have the flight controls. You can get the brake. Break. I'll go ahead and cancel SAR. Or is it 6598 November Tango Kilo on the ground? E Teddy, cancel SAR. November Tango Kilo, Teddy, SAR terminated. November Tango Kilo. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed that very short flight. We're on to WeWAC after this. And uh, if you guys would like to try that same flight, check out the link below to my Patreon page. I'll leave a, a flight that you can do the same thing. Jump over here. So thanks, guys. Give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time.